You thought it was dead, or? I Go ahead, zoom in the probably I think dead it's thing. Dead. Yeah, that looks like. Uh, oh yeah. Bamboo. No I see the living. nodes. <laughs> then it, there are like barnacles on. Yep. There might be snails on here. Nodal branching. Oh, no. Yeah, multiple barnacles living on on the dead colony. Thanks. Thank you. about the geology that is well, it looks like yesterday was very smooth with all the sheet flows. Look, you can zoom past the shroud. It was much more oh, disrupted. Yep, Thank you. Which would be consistent with a uh, a landslide in the gully off to the left. Nice deltaing today, by the way. Thanks. Is it? It's down slope a little bit, so it might be hard to get close, but I'll do my best here. Let's see what happens. Uh -huh. uh, all right, zoom in there, please. Video zoom, please. Uh, that one's kind of pretty. Looks like zoanthids. Zoanthids growing. Oh, zoanthids. Thank you. All right, thank you. I'm wide. My mom in the chat asks, what is the <laughs> Nautilus ship doing while you dive? Do you move around far enough where it has to follow you or does it stay stationary? Nav or pilots, do you want to answer that? What do we do with the ship? Yes, yeah, we, we move the ship, like, because once we move the ship, then, um, Atlanta follows us, and uh, that way we can also control, the pilot can control Hercules. So yeah, so the ship is not stationary, it's constantly moving, and um, we are doing the ship move, but that's not just being um, said on the SPL, like, you know, just not to disturb people. Yeah, maybe that is something that should even come on on the SPL, I don't know if it's... It's up to the navigator, every navigator does it slightly differently. Oh, okay, I see. So that people can have a feel for it, like you know. Yeah. <laughs> I remember having a reading a comment that somebody wrote in one time. They said, "I've watched enough Nautilus Live that now my parrot says bridge nav." <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> bridge nav. <laughs> yeah. So our second ROV, Atalanta, um, gets basically it just gets pulled by the ship around. So we have to move the ship in order to move Atalanta. ROV, when you've got a minute, could you give me a full yeah, power no. cycle on the Are Triclops in the my camera bottle? No, so you can see it. <laughs> Triclops is off. Yeah, you can do another move. 195? Yeah, mm -hmm. that sounds great. Bridge now. Can we step? I don't have and five zero meters. Same Switching same. with Dave real quick. Triclops power is back on. Thanks. And thank you. Triclops is talking again. We'll see if it shows us anything. Dave's back in video. Hey, Dave. Hi, Dave. What did I miss? Rocks. We missed you. Uh, Logan was also great. 
I got the last donut. Oh. Yeah, so you can all hear me now. Sorry. Well, they, well, thank you, yeah, there will always be more. Can you zoom in on this purple donut, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no oh. sprinkles on this oh, one, Oh, there's though. no sprinkles, yeah. Oh, no sprinkles on Boom. this purple donut. Is this a cucumber? Yeah. It's a donut. Much healthier than a donut. It's so cute. Well, it's stout. Yeah, very round. All right, thank you. Thank you, cucumbulator. Did you say a cucumbulator? Can we zoom here or is it too late? Yeah, we can zoom. No problem. Go ahead, Dave. Oh, another cucumber. This is a dead sponge, I think. Yes. Nobody inside? Yes, yeah, someone in the chat had an interesting... Uh, Suggestion. Okay, Thank you. Come with. That the uh, squat lobsters are on these dead sponges because maybe the live ones have a way to uh, repel. Uh, the squat lobsters I have seen inside of the sponge of the dead sponges, maybe they are looking for shelters. Uh, the species where we collected the look at these sediments are detritivorous. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> this is such a Zen garden area. Such a Zen garden yeah. area, yeah. Well, like that when do you end? Oh, oh, oh no. Where does that one end? <laughs> Uncle's all the way to the ship. <laughs> Fooled by the tether. Oh my goodness. Wow. Bamboo. Yeah. Wow. A long bamboo. All right. Well, I'm going to steer clear Steve of this. Steve says that thing. this might be the longest bamboo uh, he has ever seen. Wow. What's our guess? Let's get a. Four meters? <laughs> let's get a view with Atlanta as well. So it's definitely taller than Herc. Oh, yeah. Um, How tall is Herc? Uh, two meters, two and a bit. Hey, okay. uh, I think this is taller than four meters, you think? I'll back up a little bit. Uh, yeah. When yep. we count height, do we count, Do we, are we guesstimating like the wow. um, curves and the ripples in it straight out or? I would guess that's three meters. But I don't know. I have no idea. I'll measure the uh, base, and someone, some enterprising young individual, can extrapolate from there. It's just about a what a seven centimeter base, eight centimeter base. Okay. So if I set up directly perpendicular to it, you can take the base size and compare that to the length of it. I think this is about perpendicular to it now, ish. I mean, it's kind of three-dimensional. Yeah, see, there you go, 10 centimeters per base, and wow. beautiful Atlanta shot. Nice work. Thank you. All right, I got to go. Cole. Oh, and there goes the tilt. Yeah, and we're a little low on delta for being this far above me. Yep. Seeing the floats up there, so we got to get stretched out now. How many hands do you have, Annabelle? How many need, things like, can you do more. at once? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well done. We do like a foot pedal for something, or? Oh yeah, that's that'd be. Keep coming up. Roger that. And tilt all the way down, please. Keep going. Keep going. Want to see the tether? Yeah, good there. That look all right? Yeah, probably. I'm gonna stretch out a bit more. Roger. Just make sure. Uh, how's that? That looks good. Yep. Thanks. Oh man, we are really bouncing around. Yep. again back here Steph did you mark that as a highlight the the Atlanta, Atlanta shot yeah thank you very much
Yeah, these are all broken blocks of lava here. Is the downslope into that ice cream scoop um, landslide? Yeah, it's, it's right behind us. I mean, we're in the, on the edge of the top edge of it right now. I don't know, is there any way to grab a rock somewhere in here, maybe? Yeah, you betcha. Let's do it. You got a particular one in mind? Uh, I don't know. I can, these kind of look juicy there. In juice a good ones. Way. Get the juicy ones. Juicy rock. Uh, that's not close enough. Let's wait a sec here. Do we want the downlight on? Sure. Roger. Nestle in right there. Okay, can I get uh, bubble and craft, please? Roger. All right, one of these ones in here. Yeah, let's go. This one. That's it. Point right at right at it. Go, go, gadget fingers. <laughs> oh, excellent. Whoa. Uh -oh. Is it going to be stable enough? Yes. All right. Zoom in, please. Is that a good one? Yeah, we'll take that. Okay. Would you Let's consider go. that? Go ahead. Which segment of the starboard are you aiming for? We'll find out shortly. I don't know if it'll fit in one of the small ones or not, so. Okay. Let's have a look. You can open up. Let's do sample salvo too, please, if you got a spare hand. Roger. Let's try and fit it in Bravo, but if it doesn't go, I'll do one of the bigger ones. That's too big for Bravo. Is there a way I can... Yeah, no, that ain't gonna go in one of the small ones, so I'll do uh, Echo. All right. And one. Would you consider that rock angular looking? Yeah, that was great. Do we want to go back to dive, Salvo? Yeah, please. What do you get a chance to give me a number? 72. Roger. 12. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not talking to me, all right. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but you're welcome to chime in anytime. <laughs> Pie. Two. <laughs> <laughs> and bubble on porch, please. Roger. One of those Please silent fives. Oh, that's gorgeous Ooh. over there. Can we step on it up five zero? I think that's my Christmas card it? this year. The Christmas <laughs> card? Yeah, it's thanks. It's got like a little menorah thing going as well as the oh, yeah. Christmas wreath. A little bit of everything. Non denominational or. Can we zoom pan -denominational? in? Pan yes. Pan denominational rock, please. <laughs> <laughs> And it has a rock in it. Exactly. That's oh, a classic look how big anemone. The base that is. Nice. It's got bodybuilder neck. <laughs> Thick. Wow. When you think of an enemy, that's what you think of. Mm -hmm. When I think of coral, that's what I think of. Is that a squat? No. No, no those no. are ophiroids. All right. Wonderful. Thank you. Na prinoid. Thank you. Seems like we're seeing a few more anemones on this one. Mm -hmm. Stronger current, maybe.
Do you think that has to do with being out of the EEZ? <laughs> <laughs> What kind of rocks um, do you find on the seamount besides basalt? I mean, sometimes we can find uh, carbonate rocks like limestone, reef material from a previous uh, coral reef. And we have been finding some phosphorites here too. But, uh, Really interested to see what we see at the very top here of the uh, the end of the dive. If that's limestones, if there's a reef, or if it's all volcanic again. Won't we be on the watch for the top? There is a chance. <laughs> Let's do a quick look here. What do we got over to the right? Some Looks like it falls away into oblivion. I think we got some water over to the right. I think there's a bit of water. Yeah, good call. Yeah. Check the left. To the left, we got some rocks. This is where I think we're going to go. Yeah, I think so. That's what the, the larger maps has us. And then, yeah, big drop off over there. Ooh. Oh, big sponges? I'm going to go in an irresponsible direction just to take a look at these sponges. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Zoom in on the sponges, please. I'm just going to keep putting wraps in my tether. These are big. Yeah. A couple of polys. These sponges look dirty. Yeah. All right, thank you, Dave. Or at least irresponsible. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of good sponges over there. Look at that. OK, I got a mosey. That's you. Okay. That's me. <laughs> That's uh, getting more consistent every dive, isn't it? That runaway. <laughs> It runs away more when you angle it upwards, I think. I'm not sure. I haven't been keeping track too too closely. I think that's right. I think that's correct, yeah. Whoop. Too far ahead now. Yeah, Steve mentioned that uh, the anemones have never been identified but imaged many times. <laughs> he says, I wouldn't even know how to collect them whole rock the crowbar yeah the whole rock's probably the right way <laughs> is there interest in collecting them uh, I guess it's interesting collect collecting everything but the problem is so many things uh, remain in in the shell on the shelf of the collection and, and nobody is looking at them fish Fish? Oh, but fish. if we find another one, Ooh, big fish. Collect. Long fish. You can do a long Ooh. fish zoom if you want, Dave. It's way far away and. Oh, it swam right into the rock. <laughs> oh, bonk. I meant to do that. Bonk. Again. bonk. Is that a. cut? Cut throat? throat eel? Ooh, I big got it. See if I can paint the lasers on it here. Yeah. Oh, it's a big wow. fish. Not in his eye. Ah. Rawr. <laughs> Rawr. All right. Bye -bye. You did that very uh, on cue. <laughs> that was good. 
and under the porch it goes. <laughs> this might be a dumb question. Is a cusk eel an eel? That was a cutthroat eel. That was a cutthroat eel. Okay. But I are either of them like what are they called eels because they're eels? Yeah. yeah. Like I know a lingcod is not a cod, for instance. So I never know to trust the name. I know not to trust sea names. <laughs> Starfish is not a fish. Cusk Steve. eels are not proper eel. All right. Cusk eels don't look like eels to me. Like they ha their heads are so round. What about cutthroat eels? Okay. Are they proper eels? Could we I guess so. Yeah. Steve hasn't said this anything about those. Yeah, I do like how these this lava is all broken up. You can almost piece it back together. Like Zoom in here, please. That's what we're doing downstairs, Rob, is training. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to need uh, a big... We have two, two squad lobsters here. Yeah. Ooh. Do you want to get one? I want to get one. Come wide, please. What, what's that little With purple the, thing? The purple thing is uh, another anemone. Uh, keep that on bubble on porch. Using that to land. I said just get the whole rock. <laughs> the whole rock. All right, you can do bubble on craft now. Thanks. I have been impressed with people's puzzling ability here. I was going to say, we're going to need a bigger ROV to put together this puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> Don't listen, Herc. You're plenty I mean, good enough. On a rolling ship to have that concentration. So it, it would be amazing two. if we can get a piece of the coral with, a, with the Is it uh, soft? Yes. Can I snip and slurp? Well, let's try this first, I guess. Yes. Yes, let's try. What's our slurp value? Uh, I don't know. Let's have a zoom in and find out. What does the lobster say to us? Let's do 50. Maybe even 60. Healer's choice. We're going 60 slurp. He thinks he's safe. She's mm. safe. He's safe. They're safe. Um, this isn't going to work like this. Let me try <laughs> something here. Come wide, please, video. Most of these chrysoverted ah. colonies uh, have. Um, Did we get something? We got some coral in there. The Can you turn off the slurp, please? Roger, turning off the slurp. It's too much current. I can't hold it here. Okay, just what are you doing, little vehicle? Do we have any guesses as to what type of squat lobster? Rutoptychus. Oh, okay. Delta, please. Roger. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to sample this one, unfortunately. Uh, okay. We got a little we'll piece of coral more. in there, but. We'll find more. Too much current to hold here, unfortunately. So, is that two more squats? You're up to three now. Yes. Three squats. Oh, man. And that Chrysogorge is in jar number two? Yes. We can uh, actually stand by. We'll put this away first. 
We can rotate to flush jar. Roger. A cutthroat eel is a true Are we eel. Still moving now? Yes. The wrong way. Oh, I'm going now. <coughs> so for the future, Steve suggests clip the whole colony and put it in the bio box. Yeah, if we wanted to get the squat lobster, right. I, I don't no. know if they would stay with us, but uh, for this for the coral, absolutely, that's the best way to do it. What suck do we want? Uh, forty something. Can we step on it up five zero meters, Simpson? Okay, and I'll take uh, bubble on porch, please. Roger. Thank you. Yeah, the snip and box technique uh, snip was, and box. <laughs> was not working so well for getting for the squad. squad lobsters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they kept swimming away. What about uh, a snip and suction? Possible, from, but from again, as soon as you spook them, they can swim away. So I, I don't know. Okay. That would have been fine. I think we we would have got something there, but I just had to have too much thruster input and use the arm and use the suction to hold position. So okay. If it was a little bit flatter, I think I could have done it. Chat asks, do the specimens ever get damaged by pressure difference when you bring them up to the surface? Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> for Ooh. crustaceans and gastropods and hard exoskeleton specimens, mm -hmm. the damage are mm, less, but uh, for soft animals, they they can be af uh, highly affected for does, by the does the coral get damaged? Yes, yeah, some of them uh, can be very damaged at the surface. Also for the um, water temperature, they are living in yeah. one but degree or cold, cold water. So when they reach uh, the surface, the change of the temperature and the pressure is, is lethal for them. Yeah, I know it's like unfortunately fatal but um, does does it ever get damaged to the point where research is hard? Some of them uh, melt. So do we have to, is there anything, I guess, in the bio boxes that help preserve it as we, or the bio box is designed to help preserve it as we go up? I guess that's a ROV sure. question. Maybe seal the whole thing. What is this? Let's zoom in the fish, please. I is that Johnny Cups? Ooh. Ooh. Cute. Oh, cute! Oh, very cute. cute. A so dark one. Look at his feet. He's fighting the current too. <laughs> landing, yeah. coming in for a landing. <laughs> oh! Aren't they usually like red? I guess there's a lot of species of them though. He's having a tough time. That's having a tough time, isn't it? And to answer your question about the bio box, I don't know about pressure, but I do know that the bio boxes are chilled um, to help oh. with the temperature difference. The starboard bio box is chilled. Oh, those oh, little cool. leggies. Coming in. Oh, all right, come on, please. Thank you. Chat says juvenile Chana cops are gray. Interesting. Was that a baby? That would be so sweet. Got a little red spot here. Here? Yeah. A little red squat or a little red spot? I said splot, but. A oh, splot. That's Can we even zoom in better. the splot, please? It's a star. A little ombre on his uh, star limbs. Yeah. It's got All frosted right. tips. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> frosted Steve tips. Say, Steve says, Venzo pectinid.
Do we know why a lot of deep sea critters are red or like warmer colors? Can I get bubble on gauges, please? And then tip down a little bit. See gotcha. that bottom gauge? The uh, Thank you. red frequencies of light uh, are absorbed first by the water, which is why everything has kind of a bluish cast to it. Mm -hmm. um, blue and green travel further uh, in the water. So when we come down here with our lights and, uh, and light something up, it'll look red, but that's also a, uh, uh, a means of, uh, of defense or, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Camouflage. Camouflage, thank you, that's yeah. the word. So red things tend to be uh, invisible. Interesting. Uh, we have a black coral here. Yeah, we I'm could uh, check for worms if it's possible. We can do that, yeah. Why don't they just stay gray then? Red makes them invisible, Chad says. Can we do a zoom, please? I would say this is a Stauropathis. But, um, Doesn't look like any worms, unfortunately. Thank you. All right, thanks, come ahead. Is there another anemone? Let's have a look there, please. Go ahead. Mushroom coral? Oh, yes. Uh, and Tomastus. Thank you. All right. Thank you. The chat asks, is the red versus gray up to chance? Maybe. Um, other people in the chat were saying that Chonicops was gray because it was a baby or a, a juvenile. Um, and then they get red when they get older. Uh, another fact in the chat, chat fact was um, that's why a lot of pelagic organisms ha are red or have reddish parts, like some pelagic animals that are transparent have red stomachs to block out the light of their prey and also still remain difficult to see. Bleach now. Let's step another five zero meters, same, same. Thank you. Yeah, this is mainly a talus slope of old pillows. Old pillows? Well, pillows. They're all broken up. Emotionally distraught. <laughs> Do they not have a uh, mental health care under the sea? Oh. They've fallen down here because they had no good support network. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one.
Steve in the science chat says we're interested in sea stars for collections as well. So if we come across another one, should think about collecting. I'll keep an eye out. So we've climbed almost about 100 meters so far. We're at um, 1912 or 1912, and we started at 2000. Yep. And we are just about 150 meters away from the second waypoint. Oh, so. This is better. Sure. Let's Squat zoom in a better spot. Route, please. <laughs> Not a squat? Not. Not. Not seeing deadly squat? Uh. No. What about Thank that next you. one? Let's, let's check on the next one. Next one is right here. Whoop. Off your Close right. That. Yeah, not what we want. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Rob, chat wants to know, is there a chance to see columnar, if I say, I'm saying that correctly, basalt? Yeah, columnar basalts. Uh, yeah, every once in a while, I mean, there's, there is a good chance to see it here. I mean, this probably was formed by uh, some thick flows at some point. It may be tough to see underneath this talus slope, though, but maybe mm -hmm. at, the, uh, at the very head of this gully, you might be able to see some. Is that something right there in the crosshairs there? Uh, the dark spot? Yeah. Let's find out. So it's just an old hold fast. Uh, zoom in there, please, Dave. Looks like a rock rock. Yep. <laughs> rock. Uh. A nugget? All right, thank you. Nugget. <laughs> Not an nugget. official nugget. Mm. Rob, my uh, wife has gotten tired of hearing about columnar assault mm -hmm. uh, between you and Adam Sewell. <laughs> uh, teaching me about it, and now I see it everywhere. When we drive uh, through the Columbia River Gorge, there's just walls and walls and walls of it. That's a classic area yeah. for it. Yeah. So when you uh, mean columns and columns and columns of it? Yeah, there you go. There's a you know a very large eruption in that part of the country years ago. Yeah. Very thick blows, and so thick blows where you get very slow cooling. Mm -hmm is uh, when you get the columnar basalts. And uh, 
It's kind of like you ever see the mud cracks in a mud puddle after it dries up? Yep. It's kind of like a cooling sort of thing. It kind of has that. Yeah. You said slow cooling? Very slow, yeah. Relatively slow. So doesn't it cool fast underwater? Underwater, yeah, but sometimes uh, the flows are so voluminous that it gets covered very, it's very thick. And you oh, can't okay, get these yeah. happen. Yeah, in Scotland, the Isle of Sky is famous for it. Yep. Yeah. I've seen pictures of that. And in uh, Palau, I think, where they may be going the next couple of years on Nautilus, they actually use it for construction. They Whoa. actually make buildings out cool. of columns. Really? Can you come down to Delta, please? Roger. That's thick. Thick tube. We have folks asking for the cinema cam. That the cinema cam is currently being um, the the settings are being tinkered with. So we're, I don't think we're going to have it anytime soon. Yeah, this area is more reminiscent of uh, yesterday's dive with more continuous flows, not as much broken up material. Mm -hmm. Looks like we're kind of on a micro plateau or something here. So. Yeah, I wonder. Less ridgy, anyway. Bleach now. Can we please step another five zero meters, same same? Thanks. The the dive plan referred had had the term layer cake. That's my fault. <laughs> you put that in there? Yep. Are you talking about like, oh, oh. a shrimp? Is that a shrimp? Beautiful. Yeah. Shrimp. First one for the count. And what an amazing first shrimp. What an amazing first shrimp. What's that thing blowing around on that rock down there? It's like uh, this one. Yeah. It looks like an sponge. Yeah, stock we can sponge. Zoom. We could have a zoom on that, please. Stock sponge. Yeah, it looks like it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that is something. Something? Yeah, and the sponge. As in something you to sample or? I didn't have enough time to see it, but we can move. Okay. That sponge is a tiny Califacus, Science Steve says <laughs> from below. Baby Califacus. What do we have here? I'm guessing Walteria. Walteria. Walteria is my favorite type of glass sponge that we've been seeing. Yeah, it's very cool and it's a lot of associate, associations. What, what mm. makes it your favorite? Just yeah. this lacy texture. It looks like it was crocheted. Oh, uh, yeah, I can see that. Or woven by a doily maker. Oh, <laughs> a doily so maker. Thank you. I come from a long line of doily makers. <laughs> <laughs> An ancient doily maker would make these. <laughs> How old do you think these sponges are? Uh, can you repeat? How, How tall? How old do you uh, think they old? are? Uh, they can be pretty old. They grow few centimeters per year. Don't they live for hundreds of years? Yeah, some of them you can be hundreds. I'm surprised how old can be these animals. Some, some corals can reach 
4,000 years old. Aren't there some jellyfish that don't die unless they're like killed, like eaten? Immortal jellyfish? Yeah. Are you Googling it? Yeah. The immortal jellyfish. It's actually called the immortal jellyfish. <laughs> In theory, they could live forever. Is it because they keep cloning themselves, kind of? It's because of their ability to switch back and forth between life stages in response to stress. Oh. That is wild. Elias, for our next move, let's go uh, 165, please. Oh, yeah. It's the oldest living healing. animal at all, of all. There's a trivia fact. Fun fact. A fact that never dies. <laughs> An immortal fact? Mm hmm. A lot of hemichoralliums in this area. We didn't see as many on the last dive. Well, we are pretty shallow, too. I wonder if that's... Ah. We were at 1,900. Can we zoom here? Yes. Uh, all right. Go ahead, please. Hello. No, maybe? Squat? Yeah, yeah there's squat. a squat. Is this Chrysogordia abluda? Um, Oops. Can we try it again? Come wide, pilot? please. Let's try it. Can I get bubble on porch? Roger. <coughs> down camera? Uh, down light, sorry. Down light, sure. Camera's on bucket. Let's see if how strong the current is here. It's not nothing. Yeah, Steve says the is Chrysogorgia blue like? But could be a different species as okay, well. Bubble on craft, please. Roger. Oof, I am rushed on this one. Are we doing snip and slurp? Or are we doing slurp? What are we doing? We can do the slurp. Kay. And after that, maybe a, um, a small snip if we didn't get any of the coral. Okay. See what I can do. We here. got jar number three. Or do we want to go back to jar number two? That's up to science row. So the, yeah, we, we could. Uh, we have a piece of Chrysogorgia in jar number two. So let's let's leave this for another sample that doesn't include. Let's go there. with jar number three, please. Zoom in, please. Roger. Jar number three it is. Okay, turn on the suction to 40%. Suction is 40. Ooh, yeah, it's still looking good. 50, please. Slurp, is it 50? Ooh. Come on, come on. 60? Slurp is 60. <laughs> come on. Come on, you little rascal. Come out a little bit, please, video. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Yeah, I think we got some coral in there, too. Yeah. I got to go, though, so come wide, please. Oh, yeah, yeah we got a, coral. Coral. a good piece of coral and, in there. Very good. Full wide, please. Yeah, enough coral for ID, Steve says. Thank you so much. And that's number 74 now.
Thanks. And yep. there's a fish. Fish. Uh, flush at 40? Nope. Nope. Okay. I gotta move first. <coughs> Enough. We can do uh, downlight and bubble cam, please. Can we step five zero meters bearing one six five degrees? Same speed. Yes. All right, now we're good for uh, flush Thanks. 40. Gotcha. Was that another Europe tight use? Yes. Okay. Uh, flush good? Very clean flush. Sure, please. <coughs> you can zero it. Suction zeroed. All right, thank you. I wanted to wait on the flush just so I had maximum hydraulic pressure to get ahead there with the thrusters. Gotcha. That was the thought there. I wasn't watching the jars. Did we get some coral in that sample? Yes. Yeah, we got a good yeah, bit. Pieces. Enough fantastic. to ID. Yeah, fantastic. Stream here for your count. Oh, yeah. For the count. Yeah, some large chunks of uh, pillow and lava tubes here. Kind of near the top of the uh, scarp area. What does it mean to be a scarp? It's just a, a steep slope that's it's probably underneath here. But I think all these uh, blocks kind of fell down after that mass wasting event. Or the I big ice cream scoop went through. I swear every time you describe rock landscapes, it, you use a different word. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what geology does. We have like you know, five words for the same thing. <laughs> What was that last one? Scarp? Scarp. Scarp. That doesn't sound like an official word. Well, we get to make things up, too. <laughs> <laughs> SPL, this is Data Lab. You should have Cinema Camera up and running again. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. That was an adventure, and we're back where we started. That's okay. Thank you. Can we put that up on our screen, Rob? Thanks, team. Yeah, thank you. It's not about the destination, but about the cinema cam settings you played with along the way. Uh, in the chat, my mom is not a fan of slurping the lobster. Why? She says it's disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> to the but lobster or a your grab. mom? Or? Uh, probably both. <laughs> Oh, there's another anemone. Anemone. Oh. Yeah, I can't sample that whole rock, unfortunately. <laughs> Even I won't try that. <laughs> I bet you Dan would. <laughs> <laughs> no, even he knows better than that. Could you, like, cut it off? Cut the uh, anemone off? Yeah. You could, but it would be kind of a massacre, and I don't know if that would be very helpful for science. That's true, yeah. A little sponge, is that a tunicate there? What about like prying it off with a knife? Go ahead and zoom on the something. I think um, an anemone is an individual, so could, it, could the could in the anemone implies to uh, lose morphological characters and yeah. All right, thank you. you should get an uh, an anemone spatula. 
I would say the knife is a pretty good idea, but it would be very, very difficult with the uh, uh, coral cutter jaws on it. I mean, more likely we just end up stabbing it. <laughs> yeah, stab, stab, stab. Well, as past Trevor once said, you can do anything you put your mind to, <laughs> something along the lines of that. <laughs> past Trevor, what a jerk. from waypoint two area. Yeah. Making good progress. This is good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eighteen thousand um, eighty nine meters. After this step we can go directly to waypoint three. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought of a, a word of the even though we only have like an hour left, I thought of a word of the the dive. If any of you say it. Gauge check. Fish. Is that the word you're thinking of? <laughs> Not Scarp. at all. It is. It is like a two-parter word, though. So, uh, fish. Is that the word? No. Is fish two-parter? Fish. fish, I guess. Fish. <laughs> shrimp count. Was that a? Did you see a shrimp, or was that the word you're talking about? That was of? my guess. No. Hmm. So, Stephanie, for your mom. Mm-hmm. Shot of the back row here. Oh my God! Don't look at me. Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, Wave dad. The wherever the camera is. Where's the camera? Uh, over the top of uh, Elias. Yeah, I see it. Hi, mom. Oh. <laughs> hey, mom. This is Stephanie hard at work. She's doing an excellent job. Thank you. Thank you. Well, apparently today we're all Stephanie, so. <laughs> <laughs> don't. So, so I'm not wrong. <laughs> I don't remember my life before I was Stephanie. <laughs> I think the collective Stephanie is doing amazing today. Oh, the collective Stephanie is doing wonderfully. <laughs> nice cry night. Mm -hmm. oh, I forgot we still had our cinema cam now. Shape of this rock. Yeah, that's it's that's amazing. a classic pillow basalt. The radiating curves are like cooling contraction curves. Kind of seen rate radiating out radiating out from the middle of it. That's a classic pillow and cross section. Give you good down can or else think Try like highlight it. Eh, not necessarily. It's kind of you can give it a give, give it a, two. Macro, a good I'm giving view. it a one. <laughs> Ouch. Not a fan of rocks, eh? I, I kind of am after doing that lithology thing, but I mean, there's better highlights yeah. that happen down here. What is your favorite highlight? <laughs> um, Stephanie Cam. <laughs> Stephanie Cam. Um, I like when we find fish. That's my favorite highlight. Chana cups. Chana cops, yeah. Baby Chana cops, eels. Fake eels. I like real eels. So the most real deal eel. The most interesting fish we saw it was the ipnops. Yeah, I mean, that was cool. Uh, uh, sensor detecting. Buich enough. I wish we saw it more. Like, like we didn't get any good photos of it. What? Ooh, Roger. Can we step another a scientist five I'm sure would like to know if the juvenile Chanakops is going to be a highlight. Um, I did flag it. Did you flag it? I didn't flag it. No. So one I did, so zero. hopefully. Perhaps. Roger. The answer. Thanks. I wonder, are we able to go back if we didn't somehow? I guess we would not know what time we found it at. It would have to be at the back end. We noted it. What's this little thing? Yeah, I know, yeah. Can we zoom on the red thing, please? Ah, oh, another mushroom coral. And masses. I just want to squish it. Step on it. Alright. I gotta go. Coming up. Roger. 
got steep all of a sudden. A nice outcropping to oh, the cliff. Atlanta's left. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to kind of bypass it, but we're not. Uh, There's a rock that we just passed with a very sad it. face on it. Half a Micralion again. <laughs> left. All right, outside of the danger circle, happy again. We can have a zoom on that. Go ahead, video. Those are Zwantids. All right, I'm gonna move along, thank you. There's the cliff. Beautiful. Ooh, big Bad sponge in cinema. Wow. Well, this That's is a nice wow. shot. Wow. Yeah, this is what I expect to see most of the time with this cliff. Yeah, Did this is definitely finish? a nice scarp. Roger. <laughs> scarp. Oh, this is incredible Beautiful. up here. Beautiful lava tubes on the back side here. The, these rocks look so smooth. Well, the lava was probably smooth, and then you have the uh, manganese coating. The manganese what? The manganese coating. Oh, it's so not, close. Not as petroidal here, but if we got closer, probably would be. I don't, do you want to try to pop a bottle? Do I ever? Let me get yes. ahead a little bit first. Mm. So much current here. Mm. I should probably be down current of this stuff, shouldn't I? Yeah. Well, I'm going to end up there no matter what I do. So <laughs> I'll start right up here and then I'll drift backwards. <coughs> Can I get bubble on craft, please? Bubble on craft. Roger. All Niskids are light, open. Please. Roger. And port rail cam, please. Roger. Start easy with number six. Someone watching the, uh, can you drop port and starboard light, please? Roger. Mm -hmm. All right, someone watching the far Niskin. Tell me when it pops. Yep. Roger. Pop, yep. pop. Pop goes the bottle. All right. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. One Edna. Data, what's the ID for this? Number 75. Thank you. I turn the starboard and port lights back on? Uh, either way, but we can turn down light off and we can get bubble on porch. Roger. Thank you. I think this is my favorite rockscape we've come on to so far yeah. with the big boulders. Yeah, I'm still surprised how little sediment is on these things for supposedly being hundreds or tens of millions of years old. Well, the current's pretty strong, no? Mm-hmm. Current is pretty strong, yes. Sorry, I tuned out there, <laughs> scratching my ears. <laughs> I 
What's our bearing right now? 210. 210, thank you. Everyone's favorite sponge. The wisteria. I don't think it's my favorite sponge. We'll, What's we'll, your favorite sponge? We'll convert you. <laughs> um, my favorite sponge? Uh, I don't know yet. The sponges don't really, like, call to me, you know? Oh, and it's fighting words. <laughs> <laughs> we have a squad here. We can squad. zoom. Yes, squad. we can. have the record. We can do a squad zoom. Uh, what is that? Go big ahead, please. Hoover? It's a, a branching bamboo or a bamboo of some sort. Two squatties. Two squatties. I could get you up to six right now. They like hanging on the spot with the hydroids, don't they? Yeah, it's, it's what we are trying to figure out where they are living because most of the times we have uh, spotted them are in the dead part of the corals and the hydroids or dead sponges. Thank Funny. you. Thank you. Any theories? Uh, so far, maybe they are. Um, they don't want to be damaged by some of the mucus or something that they are not adapted to live on the, on the coral. All oh, right. Like any other squads, like the Uroptychus we have collected. But we're getting there. <laughs> Great. Cool. I mean, do the coral polyps have like nom nomatosis or something like that? Yes. No, okay. Do you think those two squads were friends? Do you think they were a little pair? They are fe usually female and, and male. Mm -hmm. no. the same. Let's step another five zero meters, same thing. So one of the scientists in our chat says that the type of biotope, biotope consisting of manganese encrusted basalts in this dive is very poor for fishes and other large mobile fauna, megafauna. Um, chat wants to know if we've seen any cheese moons. What? <laughs> uh, Bolosomas? We have seen bolosomas. We have seen cheese moons. Cheese moon. Cheese moon. They do look like cheesy moons. So are these yellow, yellow and staropathies down here? This one is the Staropathy. What's that other one? Is that just Zoanthids on some? Yes. Let's have okay. a zoom on the Zoanthids and Staropathy. Yeah. Please, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Is that Zoanthids? It must be, right? Thank you. All right. of Paramurisei, uh, not Swantids. Uh, Paramurisei family of, of the corals. So it, w it was not Swantids? No. No. Right. But, uh, we should collect it if, it's All right. if uh, we have the chance to go can. back. Yep. Is this a soft one or a rigid one? This one. Yeah, is it soft or rigid? Is it slurp or box? Uh, I'll say um, box. Roger. Come on, stay with me here. There we go. 
Hopefully that's enough. Can I bubble on craft, please? Roger. Yes, Steve and says downlight. it needs to be cut. <coughs> needs to be cut, Roger that. Get the chainsaw. Yeah. Did I park close you enough? You want a uh, starboard bio box cam? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter, we're going forward. Oh, Zoom Roger. in, please. Nice cinema cam view. Mm -hmm. Am I f close enough to it? Yes, I am. Okay. How do you feel about right in here? <laughs> Going for it. Hope you feel oh, good about it. Don't go back. <laughs> <laughs> just, a, just a flesh wound. <laughs> just a severed limb. <laughs> Okay, let's go for uh, Lambda or Omega, preference? Lambda. Lambda. Good point though, they will grow back. Okay, keep opening please. Open, 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 open. Good there. Did. Great. D data? What should I name this? Thank you, you very much. No problem. You can name this a paramurcid. Paramurcid. It's spelled P A R A M U R I C E I D. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you for porch, and I'll take down light off, please. Roger. In the chat, SCF Daniel. Hello, Daniel Price. Hope you're well. What do so when you're like processing that sample that we just took, do you leave the star leg with it? The star, the starfish, the yeah, the brittle, the star? brittle tentacle. We take notes and images from all the uh, association, mm -hmm. but then we are uh, splitting you and the separate it? Yes. Can we have a zoom here, please. I feel That's like the they like wind pretty tightly. Does it? Is it hard to get them off? They. Oh, very silly. Oh, really? Yes. Another mushroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Cool cinema cam view there. Yeah. So the paramuricid could be genus Paramuricia, but um, it should be researcher more. Mm -hmm. People in the chat, um, a lot of people in the chat kept saying, click. Plexarid for that yellow one, the plexarid. Yeah, yeah. Um, there is a big revision that mm -hmm. came out last year, I think, and uh, now some of the species that were in the family Plexauride mm -hmm. are in the family Paramuriceide. Okay, so it changed. Yeah, I'm not sure how many genera there are now in Plexauride, but most. Steve told me that most of them are Swiftia. Okay, and you said that was last year that they kind of made yeah, that revision. Yeah, it's pretty recent. Yeah, the Plexors were my favorite on previous cruises. I'm glad we're starting to see them again, or the color ones. Yeah, the yellow golden ones. Can we get the next step, uh, maybe 20 degrees more to the right? Precious Whatever it was, add 20. Incredible here. Hmm. We want to. Yeah, like that kind of thing, yeah, please. Okay. I don't remember the number you called in last time, but... Yeah, I had um, two... You should have it 220, so we should go 240. Great, thank you. You're welcome. Just trying to keep us on top of this ridge. Is that the cheese moon? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. That's Is a it? polyopagon. Yeah, that's okay. not the cheese moon. But it has the what on this punching glove. Beautiful. Blue Is that a spongy Is that the debris? Step another five zero I think so, yeah. Two four zero degrees. Can we zoom in, please? See if there's any associates on this.
Coral. Glad you. Sim speed, thank you. A great son of a cam. It's a tiny micro star on the sponge. Just leaving frame on the right. Oh, there's another, oh. another one. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, oh so precious. And we'll look at this one. That's a Paragorgia. Yep. So you see what I meant by the gnarled look? Yeah. Yeah. The All color right. is Thank gorgeous. You. Thank you. Were you saying Paragorgia with a B or Veragorgia? Para. 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 Like para Paragorgia with a P. Gorgia. <laughs> okay. Look at the thick stock on that sponge. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, that's the thickest stock we've seen. Wow. Very sturdy. Let's see if I can paint that with the lasers. That sponge is an overachiever. Yeah. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's like a, almost a 10 centimeter wide base. Or, uh, wow. uh, wow. what's it called? Stock. Not quite, but. Gotta go. Yeah, right this ridge is really nice there, Trevor. Elias. Yeah. Thanks. Because the failed scarp is just off to your left, going down slope. Yeah, it's so enjoyable that this time went by so fast. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. <coughs> we also had some variety. You know, you have some launch and some descent, and yeah. and bottom time. We had all sorts of yeah. variety. It's good. More bubble gums. And what's the the word for bubble gum? The Paragorgia? Oh, Paragorgia, okay. What's the other one? The yellow one? No, the one with an H that looks oh, like he Paragorgia. Hemicorallia. Yeah. Hemicorallia. Those ones look a little bit more delicate, but it can get kind of complicated when you have a Paragorgia that has very small gnarls on it. That's when you need the zoom more so. In general, I've been finding that the Paragorgia is a little bit more hot pink than the Hemicorallium, though. Just slightly. I would love to see them next to each other one time so I can properly learn the difference. Mm -hmm. Just can't quite get there, my little brain. A little while ago, chat said that there was two next to each other. Oh, yeah. That was cool that rock. Was a while ago. Yeah, that's lava flows kind of slid down like that. That's just like what you'd see on a cliff and uh, on land. Oh, what about this? <laughs> Put on the brakes. Uh, let's check that out. Please go ahead. Nice view in the cinema cam, too. You can actually see layers of lava, too. There's some horizontal layers there, successive flows. These have another, another different uh, yeah. species, so I don't know if it's very difficult to get it. Come wide, please. We'll see what we can do. 
Is this a flexible slurp one, snip and slurp, yes. or is this a box? Just a slurp, flexible. Slurp. Okay. Those are pretty. Can I have a little bit of delta, please? Roger. Down. Give me a little delta. Thank you. This is very different from the one we tried in the first attempt, so perhaps we can reuse. Number two. It's going to work. Yeah, number two. Okay. Is this going to work? Are you good for delta? Do you want more? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Uh, as Steve says, the species is Chrysogorgia geniculata. Okay, bubble and craft, please. Uh, yeah. Uh, what jar do we want? Jar number two. You all can right. work on setting that all up, and then I will snip. You say jar number two? Yes. Have we not put some in there already? There's already Chrysogorgia in there, but Paolo was saying this species is very different, so we'd be able to tell the difference. Roger. Zoom in, please. All right, we're on jar number two. Thank you. So the... the About here? No. No. So the animal is here, in, in the, this oh. colony, and the, if you see the small Uroptychus, is in the near the top of the colony. It's really, really small. Oh, the little. Oh, interesting. All right. How am I gonna get this thing? Uh, come wide, please, video. Let's see here. Maybe I go like this. Oof, this is gonna be tough. Let's see what I can do. Uh, okay, zoom in again, please. You want me to turn on the slurp? No. Okay. Oh, is it still, is it in my jaws? Can you zoom in more there, please? Is it still on there? Yes. Oh, I see it. Go, okay, come out again a little Can, bit. Is it too late to change the jar? I'd like to do jar number four. It's not too late. Thank you. Ah, terrible angle of sampling. I don't know if I can snip it. I have to grab it, unfortunately. There you go. Okay, come wide, Very please. Good. Okay, we can do slurp on, uh, probably need quite a bit here. Let's do uh, 60%. And video, please. Slurp is on Zoom 60. Again. And this is just Chrysogorgia, no squat lobster associate. All right, okay. yeah, awesome. Brilliant. Full Thank wide, you so please. much. Did I watch line in these? You can That's write all? this down as uh, Chrysogorgia. Looks good. Yeah, you can so yes. can you spell turn off and rotate. Um, this could C be Geniculata. C H if are you able to pull up the data log? Oh, okay. I have it written in there. Oh, oh shit. Nice. Thanks. Steve approved nope. of that. A little too forward. Is it the, oh, okay, I see. C-H-R, oh, yeah. Chrysogogia geniculata. That's it, have, right? When you have time, I'll take down light off, but no hurry. Roger that. Just going to oh, get us some delta really and yeah, figure absolutely. out where the heck I am. <laughs> That's priority. I can maybe even do down light myself. I got so it. What huge Just spongy debris. Let's do 220. Do you want 20 bubble on yeah. porch? Okay. It's gone. Please, yep. This one? No, there was like a huge oh. dead sponge on the ground. Bridge now. Oh, cool cliff here. I love this. Let's step five zero meters bearing two to zero degrees. Delta's up? Roger. Roger. You're welcome. This current Yeah, I just stepped strong. this way because Atalanta was a little off the side of the ridge. We got it one kind of side slide to get up, and now back on top. Oh, nice. He 
you can see an Atalanta on there. There's going to be a, a nice ridge nose coming up to, not close, but we are going to be going up that way. So. Is that a starfish there, or sea star? Mm, looks like it. Yes. Is oh. your desire to sample this? Uh, we we are, we have uh, we have a request of sa general samples of sea stars. So yeah. Okay. Let's get it. Bubble on craft, please. Roger. Downlight. Yeah. Uh, do we want the starboard cam? I'm bumping into all sorts of bad things here. Yeah, Never Steve, mind. let us know if that's one that you like. I'm going to put that in the forward box. Roger. From the sea star. Come on. Are we going to go to sample it? Yep. Oh, goodness gracious. Am I able to sit still? <laughs> Clearly not. Yeah. I'm bonking at all sorts of good things. Yeah, give it a go. When in doubt, why not? Okay. Let's grab it. Grab. Okay, can you please go onto the hydraulics page and move the camera back? Herc Zeus retract. Uh, He's going to go on the Pan and tilt? Pan and tilt retract, yeah. Pan and tilt retract. Got it. Are got we it, able to it. slurp it? Is it? No, we're going to put it in the no. box. Oh, okay. Hopefully I can still do that with this holster. Uh, okay, can you give me 40% suction, please? Okay, so you use the slurp to kind of hold it. Suction? Yeah, you pluck it off and then... Yeah. Maybe 60? We give 60? it a big Hercules hickey. I'd like to put this in A if it fits. I it's going rock. in the forward box. All right, then Omega, please. Omega, roger. Uh, let me know when. Ooh, oh my god. god. Jiggle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh, it's not happy. Whoa, look at this coming out of our face here. Okay, you can open the box now. Uh, is the camera all the way back? Uh. Camera's gotta be all the way go. back. There we go. We got first. a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> Keep going until it stops. Yeah, with our luck, he'll eat all the coral in there. Okay, that's I why think that's I want to keep it away from <laughs> Lambda. <laughs> they'll predate oh. all the other samples. Okay, you can uh, turn off suction now. Oh and my. close the box. Thank you. Thank you. And then, again, we got to go. <laughs> this happens a lot. All right, Sea Star is secured. Um, do you want the porch? Uh, let's. Uh, sure. Here, Delta seems fine. Um, do we know what type of I'm star that up. was? Turn down, light off. I um, don't know. Is there anything else I need to secure? Nope. Just uh, watch that Delta as I come up fast. Roger, coming in hot. Imagine that the sea star just sits in the box, all this coral. It's like, oh, why am I being abducted? Oh, but there's a buffet. Sniff over here a bit. It smells fishy. This is definitely the ice cream scoop side, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that mm. Nice big clump of stuff. So do you want to be on this edge, or do you want to be on the center of the ridge? What would you prefer? I like the edge. I think that's more dynamic. You can see cross sections of the uh, rocks. Uh, and so the next, next question would be waypoint four. Where is that from us?
Of course, the zooming out is always hard. Yeah, it's... Is it like 200 zero, zero or something? Yeah, let's... Yeah, yeah. Man in the wind. 197 about. Mm -mm. Okay. Let's do uh Let's do 190 for our next move, please. Okay. There's a Michael in the winch. No. Did we ever do a suction flush for the last? Uh, not for the C star anyway. Oh, okay. Let's uh, Can we let's do it. Up in case we got meters? some ooze in there. Baby, one nine zero degrees. Star ooze. Forty or fifty. Yes, same speed. Thanks. All right. It doesn't look like there's anything. No, I'll let it run for thirty seconds or so. And Alrighty. shot with the edge of the cliff here. Yeah. Just let me have a look over here, see what we see as well we're while we can. It's very much so this whole slope probably looked like this before the landslide. Is that yeah. kind of what you think? Yeah that's what I think. Good to zero section? Cool. Yeah, please. Roger that. What is that in the cinema cam? Big sponge. Big sponge. Big old spongy. Yes. See the talus pile down below there? And what's interesting on this face, sometimes you'd think it'd be like a really sharp edge or a smooth surface. As that region falls away, all the loose uh, pillows kind of fall in behind it. Cool. Chat is asking um, where the current is coming from. Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What direction? Yes, what direction? Uh, uh, well, specifically they said, so the major current is coming from the right side over the cliff. Yeah, it's dropping off the cliff. But it, it's hard to say that generalizing because there's a lot of weird swirling action the changes were, depending on where we are. But generally, yes. It's a good question. It's a good, totally valid yeah. science question. So let's look sideways to the uh, cliff here. And we can watch the marine snow going from right to left on the screen. Yeah, you can see it real well in the cinema mm -hmm. cam on channel three. Yeah, totally. <coughs> There's that big sponge you saw earlier, Annabelle. Oh, wow. We got another unsampleable rock with an anemone on it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, is that a fish in the cinema cam to the right? Where do you see it? Um, it went off the screen, it was down below. Yeah, it was like kind of above where that 
anemones, but it might have swam away by now. Oh, there is some beautiful crinoids. See some associates in there? Can we zoom in, please? Bunch of crinoids. Oh, there's a little squatty in there as well. Yeah. And some stars. Bye, squatty. Bye. <laughs> Shrimp. I see a shrimp. Three. Yeah. A shrimp? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Only three. Ooh, this squatty way. are winning today. Squatties are right. winning. Thank you. But it's not 20. Yeah. But it's not 20. You're buying dinner. Wow. Was that for the dive or was that for the watch? It was for the watch. Uh -huh. <laughs> How many are we at? Um, one, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I'll find 13 right now. <laughs> <laughs> you no. just like turn over a rock and there's 13 lobsters under there. It's like on the beach flipping over for yeah. crabs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you shake a sponge and they all fall out. <laughs> we used to do that for crayfish, crawfish. Well, these are tremendous looking flow lo units. Okay, what's the bearing to waypoint four now? From uh, from the ship, maybe? Where are we looking? Yeah, from one ninety. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. We can keep doing that, I think. Okay. For the next moves. I'm Is glad the ship's trip? able to do the sidestepping here. Yeah, totally. Shrimp. Yeah. Shrimps are catching up. that time we'll be switching over watches soon to the 12 to 4 watch let's get one more move in before the watch change just keep the momentum up is that a star on the rock it yes. sure is a big star big one Blue, you know? big pop star are we sampling this star Let's sample it. Let's as sample as it? Yeah. Yeah. All Our right. One more. Are we doing right, the we'll suck again? Let's sample again. of the watch. Is it going to go in the same now, box as the other star? Oh, stand by. So Maybe they can have a battle. Yeah. Yes, not by bleach. I think or it's safe to put it in a rattle the forward ROV. bio box. And bring the camera back, too, when you have a sec, please. Uh, sorry. Uh, can you rack the pan and tilt camera back in? This one's got little... I can on do the that. Tips. Thank you. Yeah. It is my favorite. Racking it back. Thank you. See, I don't know. I think that's it. Maybe a little more. No, that's it. We're putting it in the tool tray again. Yeah. Okay, I'll get some suction. 40%. 40% suction. Maybe 50? What was last time? I don't remember. You put it pretty high. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I thought you went to 60 last time. Ooh. There it is. I saw it get. Okay. Um, Ooh, cinema cam's great. Tool tray out. Stand by. All Make right. Make sure the other one doesn't escape first. Oh, no, the whole arm went in. Oh, that's fine. He'll come out. Okay, uh, go ahead and open it, please. Into Omega, please. Yes. Thank you. Okay, you can kill suction. Suction is... Ooh. <laughs> All right, and close it, please. That one's so big compared to the other one. I'm really excited about these sea stars. All right. All right, let's uh, sort out the chaos just in time for watch change. <laughs> Keep moving. Oh, uh, sure, please, yeah. Good enough. Can we step oh, another yeah. <laughs> five? They will meet us, same, same. Thank you. 
Sir Nav, was that a question for me? No. She's delting. Did you mark sample 79? I'm delting with, with all Easter? my might. Love the old watch change uh, sampling. Oh, my thank favorite. you. I got a point. <coughs> All right, I'm gonna flush. Roger. Flushing. Do you want me to put the camera on no, the? No, that's fine. Okay. Just run it for run it until someone shows up and I forget and leave it on booby trapped. Awesome. You're like, why don't we have enough hydraulics? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> look at these neat little bump outs on this flat rock. It's pretty cool. They look like uh, like those rocks people stack like on trails and stuff. Yeah. Kinda. A little nook shooks. Yeah, yeah. Cairns. All right, we're in a good state. This thing's extended. S flush is secure. Delta's fine. Uh, do I need to put the camera back? Uh, I've done that. Roger that. It's easy to do while I'm flying, but not while I'm using the manip. Okay. Cool. Hello, everyone watching. We are going through a shift watch yeah. Delta, switch, but also <laughs> and we will be with you in just a minute. Out, so. Yeah, it's good. Just keep an eye on it during watch change. Roger. A little Hello. in Atalanta's. I don't know if that's the same cliff or. Ooh, beautiful cinema cam. Oh. <laughs> That's not going to work. If you are just joining us, we are diving at 1,819 meters in an isolated seamount just southwest of Johnston Atoll exclusive economic zone. We are doing a watch change and have about half of our watch up and ready to go. And we have had a very productive dive so far. So my name is Ashley Glickley. I'm a science communication fellow and teacher from Louisville, Kentucky. It is an honor to be here with scientists and RV pilots, data engineers, and we're going to go ahead and introduce ourselves. So I'm going to go to my right and let Arisa, our chief scientist, introduce herself. And she's still getting set up. So I'm going to answer a question here. Earlier you pulled a knob kind of thing that had a number nine on it. What did it do? So we were taking water samples. Both of those water samples are used for eDNA analysis um, and other things for the scientists back shore and for us as well. And we have our shift lead, Dwight. Do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, Ashley. Uh, I am Dwight Coleman. I'm the expedition leader on this NA-153 leg to Johnston Atoll. 
and I'm from the University of Rhode Island Graduate School of Oceanography and uh, Geologist and the watch leader that I share with Leela at uh, on the 12 to 4 watch. Thanks Dwight. Yep. Jane are you ready? I am. Hi, I'm Jane Carrick. I'm also from the University of Rhode Island. I'm a PhD student uh, studying deep sea corals and their environmental drivers. And I am working as a data logger on these dives. So I'll be taking notes on all of the fauna we see, all of the geology, and any other interesting information that we want to make note of. Awesome. Thank you for that, Jane. And I think we're getting into a zone that's going to be pretty fun, and, right? A lot of deep sea coral and sponges around this area. So. Right now we're looking at an image of a deep sea sponge and I think there's a couple squat lobsters on there. Yeah, beautiful. Where are we seeing those squat lobsters? Is there I uh, thought we're moving we saw away from just them just a now? second ago and we're, we're pulling up or taking off. Admittedly, I have a hard time spotting those. They're <laughs> quite small. I do too. I think Paula is the only one that can see them uh, from a mile away. <laughs> I see Steve had made note of that as well. All right, moving down to the front row. Panos, did you want to get us started with introductions down there? Hello from the front row. I'm Panos uh, Lurotos. I'm the video engineer for the 12 to 4 watch. All right, and our ROV pilots are still doing their watch change. Navigator, do you want to say hello? Hello everyone, I'm Lynette. I'm the navigator on this watch. Lynette, what do you like better, sea sponges or sea coral? Or all of it? I'm all about sponges. <laughs> We've 100%. seen a lot of sponges on this watch, so. Yeah, I'm into it. Yeah, I have a feeling we might see some more. All right, coming back to the back row again. Aisha, are you ready to introduce yourself? Hi everyone, here's Aisha Hogan. I am a oceanographer. I'm a taxonomist um, member of the Ocean Census Network and I'm a part of the science team for, for this petition. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did someone call my name? Thank you. Uh, yes. I think we are ready for the RV pilots if you all are oh, in a space to introduce too. yourself. It's okay. Um, I'm We're right still getting now. set up, so we might just wait for a minute. If I, if I start to get a headache, I might take them from you. Or request that you get mine, they're in the shop. I gave you Not a chance, and uh, <laughs> that's it, that's all you got. You got Thank your you. chance. Yeah. There is a glare in the... In the camera. In the camera? Oh, yeah, there's like, a, like a, there's like a smuts or something. It's like a sponge, kind of wiped it against it or something, maybe. Yeah. Michael, you want to introduce yourself? Well, you already took it. So. <laughs> Half of it. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Michael Valle. I am a PhD student out of UCLA. I am studying physics, a little bit out of place, but I am your Atalanta pilot. I am the co-pilot to Herc, and I do all the uh, all the things that the current pilot doesn't have time to do or doesn't want to do. Hmm. All right. Thank you very much. All right. James, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm just uh, focused on stuff we're seeing. Um, no, I mean, it's your uh, job, Hi, everybody. Too. My name is James Barnett. I'm the Herc pilot for the 12 to 4 shift. I'm a chemical engineer by education. Never worked in the field, so don't ask me any chemistry questions. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, happy to be here. All right. And we have a current shrimp count of four. So we have not seen as many shrimp as normal on this dive. The shrimp count is just a fun way for us to celebrate when we see the shrimp in the in the camera. So, not specifically our research objectives. All right, let's figure out what we're doing, guys. Yeah. Twelve to four, ready. Squat lobster there. Twelve let's to go. four, we're ready. ready. Let's go. go. <laughs> team. team powers activated. All right. Uh, was was there a ship move called in recently? Yeah, I just called in fifty meters. Okay, moving towards waypoint four. Yep. Um, we'll stay up on this ridge as best we can and uh, try to stay ahead of uh, Atalanta well enough so that we can stop and pause and zoom and sample if we need to. And Sounds good. Uh, rocks all look similar to me, so we don't need to zoom on those yet. Mm -hmm. But uh, any biology that we see, 
that looks interesting. Let's definitely pause, like this 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 uh, coral here with a crinoid on it. Would be cool to take a quick sure. look at. Take a look at that. You can go ahead and zoom, Panos. Yeah, we'll try to get good zooms and hold the zoom so we can get a good capture of it. And then uh, once we get a good capture and have seen what we need to see, we'll zoom out and keep going. Yeah, I can see really the polyps. Nice crinoid. Hold on one second here. Looks like a um, piece on, you know, top All right, full I think it's I'm, Yeah, I think it come back up. I am all over the place this day, this morning. Right, go ahead. Looks I'm like a hemichorallium. Yeah, I was just seeing this looks like... Interesting. It's not branching, is it? No. Yeah, I think we might it looks like be this broken, turned to the side. Uh, broken colony. Oh man, this is right. Yeah. Are you referring to the black, uh, the black coral behind it, or the... No, we, the one we with the crinoid on it. We have a focus on the crin with the one that has the crinoid. But uh, are we sure we're not just uh, perpendicular to the Could plane be, yeah. of the fan? Could be, yeah. The angle. It does look like something's broken off, though. The crinoid's on a it's okay, hold yeah. the zoom. Uh, part of the stock that. I wonder if it's um, just the dead stock that has hydroids on it or something. Oh, that's not. It doesn't look hydroids well. actually, and uh, even though. Looks like more um, hemp corallum type, but um, I'm yeah, like not a sure. Yeah, like a hemi or. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, hemi uh, uh, That's what Steve said. Hemi corallium. Yeah. Oh, okay. See if you can pirouette a little bit to look at it from sure. a different angle. We'll go up from the James, right. can you zoom out, please? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, yeah. The other. Yeah. No, it is just sort of a singular. S oh, wait. That's an interesting landscape. So there are some lines on that boulder on the left side. Is that something, is that just sand or is that a feature of the rock? Yeah, good question. I'll take a photo of that. I think it might be biology. Ah. <laughs> Zoom in there, panels, if you like. Yeah, that's a better shot. Looks like there is an Antomastus in the left side as well, behind this colony. Is yeah. that one of the uh, those things that kind of look like they're weirdly flying to the water? Mm. The crinoid on top. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was asking. Yeah, yeah. they're uh, he's yeah they're just hanging out there. Uh, they can swim and move. Okay, thank you. Let's take a look at this boulder to the left and try to get a zoom on the light colored streaks sure. going across it. Kind of looks like a like dust ca caught in webbing. Is that yeah. some, some sort of buildup? Cobwebs? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. What would be the equivalent of a cobweb? Oh, look. Down oh, no, it's definitely oh. biology, isn't it? Is oh, interesting. Oh. Colonial oh. organism. Very cool. Zoanthic Cloud Cloudview Lariidae. Still a octocoral, says Steve. Let me know if you want to scooch closer. I think Panos has zoomed in all the way. So we were talking about Stoloniferans earlier, Ashley. Stoloniferans, mm -hmm. they have, uh, well, named for their stolons, which are kind of stalked features that connect the polyps. It looks like someone decorated right. that rock. Right. Paint out a little bit. What? Can you pay out a little bit? Pay out? A little bit. That's cool. Yeah, if you need to move along, we oh, can you're right along. underneath yeah, me. It would be nice to get it some shots feet. with the stripe Oh, oh right yeah, because you're right underneath me. If it's possible. Did we get a good zoom on that? I don't know that I got a solid picture Go before we moved off. Of the rock? If you want me to yeah. scooch, I can move up. Yeah, with the 
Let's yeah, if you guys could hold the zoom until Jane tells you she got yeah, a good photo Yeah, I'll try to, I'll try to be more would, vocal about that. That would be great, yeah. Can uh, you go any closer, or is that as close? No. I can zoom. move the vehicle. Um, yeah, that would be great. Sure. You come wide, please, on us. So, I don't think... I'm not sure if you have sample of these... Um, the Clavularia... Is that would be something we could collect? We could try to slurp, maybe. Any guesses on the thing that's down to the bottom and that's red? Is that another? It's interesting the pattern because Mushroom it's really in the edge of the they they do the contour of the this bow to this rock. Okay, go ahead and zoom us. Do we think here. we're gonna wanna sample here? Great. Yeah, we could try to go for a sample here if you're uh, are right. you in a stable position, James, with the vehicle yeah. or do you wanna get reset up? Well, um, I think we're going to try to use the slurp and like right on the rock face. Yeah, like scrape the slurp. Yeah, I'll along. probably scooch up a little bit closer. Yeah. Bridge nav. Good on Maybe. the zoom. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I guess All right. Can we just come wide, please. Can we have two five meters, zero one zero, please? Thank you. Good small rocks with the clavularia. Um, are there any rocks that seem to be more mobile <laughs> than that large boulder? that we could potentially collect the clavularia from? Yeah, good idea. Um, I can't take credit for it. That was Asako's idea in the mm -hmm. side chat. Thank you. <laughs> How about right that one? There. Yeah, do you want to try? Let's, Maybe. um... <laughs> I recommend doing it quickly. We'll we can do. Yeah, James, before you settle back down again, yeah. let's take a look around this colony and maybe it's growing on a smaller rock and we could just grab the rock and get a sample of the animal sure. on the smaller yeah, rock. Yeah, we will probably need to either stop or move back a little. She's I'm already, uh, yeah, she's on. Yeah, her. I already called in a move north. Oh, why can I not hear So <laughs> maybe, like maybe take a look now. at the lower portion of this boulder sure. and see where um, the colony originates from. Well, there is a there with a Maybe need to zoom there if you can. Uh, sure, the, the kind of like on the base, base there. Yeah, okay. All right, James, just saying so you know that uh, I'm at that space where I'm probably going to be tugging on you for a little bit. Yeah, I can I can really feel it. Uh, go I ahead and zoom back. Thanos. Yeah, it's going to be a minute before you feel that move north. Kind of tucked into that schism there, fissure. Yeah. Wow. And you all said those were octocorms, is that right? Yes. They are octocorals as well, yes. I think our best bet is to try to slurp. So Okay. Um, so those in the scientist short, short chat have recommended scraping the rock several times and collecting these, if can possible. We, uh, can we come wide, please? Yeah, so we have a pretty big distance between Hercules and Atalanta right now, um, but we're moving the ship back north to close that gap. Um, we might just need a couple minutes to feel that. Yeah. So try to check to out the rock for the best place maybe to scrape the slurp.